Haha, <laughs> very funny. It's a pretty awful imitation of Delmas. It wasn't Delmas, it was Jim. <laughs> <laughs> but what are you dressed like that for? I've been stuck out here for 15 minutes. Odd refuses to open up. Hey, how come? Who knows? He won't even answer me. Let me handle it. Odd, if you don't open up this door right now, you can forget about my portion of meatballs. Nice try, but it's not gonna work. Well, never fails. Mm. After you, sir. What's wrong with you, Odd? Is it because of your film? Yes, I mean, no. It's not the first time that a film of mine will be screened for an audience of ignoramuses. Well, then what's wrong? My parents are in town and they're coming to see my film. That's really nice of them. No, it stinks. Hmm? <clears throat> you didn't have a fight with them. No, just the opposite. What is it then? A weird relationship problem. Teenagers are always having lots of conflicts with their parents. A generation gap. Except for one, me. My mother and father are always cool, supportive, understanding. In fact, they're just perfect. Bummer. I'll trade yours for mine anytime. If there was only something that we could fight over, so I could finally be a normal adolescent. What a major drag. I really feel sorry for you, Odd. We can really feel your pain. That's right, I wouldn't want to be in your shoes. Hmm. I knew I couldn't expect you to understand. Cheer up, with a little luck, they'll hate your film. Yeah, that would be too good to be true. How's it going, kid? Couldn't be better. <laughs> ah, it's really so good to see you. And you look wonderful. You've still got that great appetite, don't you? Mm. And these must be your friends. I talks a lot about you. How do you do? Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, hello. Hmm. <laughs> We're really delighted to meet you all at last. Here, this is a present for you. You can wear it to the screening, son. Why don't you try it on? Okay, uh, but later. I'm really much too busy right now. Hmm? Hmm. Guess he's a little uptight because of the screening. That's understandable. After all, it is a premiere. You're absolutely right, of course. Sir Ad is undeniably talented. He's very creative, intelligent. He participates orally in class, but... It's true, he is intelligent. You know, when he was barely two years old, he managed to completely take apart his uncle's stereo. And I'm sure that if he'd been four at the time, he would have been able to put it back together again. Is that so? Well, I happen to be quite an electronics buff myself, and, uh, well, I... <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway, as I was saying, your son has many fine qualities, but... Oh, you needn't tell us that. He's got qualities coming out of his ears. He eats well, he has a wonderful sense of humor, he loves a good joke. Even when it's not funny. He's a daredevil on a skateboard, and he has an excellent ear for music, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, undoubtedly. No doubt about it. No, um, however... If he wanted to, I could be at the head of his class. But he's just too modest for that. Hmm. You were saying, Mr. Delmas? No, nothing. Oh, you've been very reassuring. You know better than I do that young people today just don't work hard enough at school. That's true. They have trouble concentrating. Well, hmm. we don't want to keep you any longer, Mr. Delmas. You must have a lot of work to do. Uh, yes. Goodbye. Bye now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what's the matter with this piece of junk? Something wrong, Elizabeth? Yes, it stopped working. It did? I paid a lot of money for that. I told you to buy the higher price model. Hmm. Hmm. Now, now, Elizabeth, let me have a look at it. I'll fix it for you in no time at all. Hmm. You know how to do that? Why, of course I do. I have a true gift for delicate work like this. When I was your age, my nickname was Mr. Circuit Breaker. A fixer, that is. Hmm. Oh! Is this thing still under warranty? Sissy, hold on! 
<laughs> Good evening. There are some empty seats in the first row. Uh, we'll have a large popcorn, please. Oh, sorry, I don't have any. But I might just have half a box of nibble jacks lying around somewhere in my room. <laughs> I was only kidding. Well, yeah, uh, sure. So was I. I'm putting it to sleep. Han would kill me if the super scan went off in the middle of his film. At any rate, there's not much chance that Xana would launch an attack during the three minutes the film lasts. <laughs> I hey, sissy, what's the matter? You don't look so great. God has made fun of me in every single one of his films. Yeah. <laughs> That's Keep laughing, Nicholas, right. and the whole school's gonna find out what happened to Mrs. Hertz's hamsters. <laughs> okay, let's step. I was in 12. You were in 12. That's why you but where is Odd? I have no idea. Oh, I better go see if I can find him. <laughs> hmm. Very well, now we can begin. <clears throat> uh, welcome, cinema lovers, to this special screening of Mandibles and Purple Mauve, the latest creation of our own Odd de la Robia. Please do forgive me for not having seen this work yet. I understand, however, that the film cleverly combines fiction with documentary. Truth, in short. But, in the end, what is truth? Where could he have gone? There is no simple answer, but one which Odd de la Robia hmm? What are you doing there? Shh! Quiet, you're giving me away. This is ridiculous. Your parents are looking for you. I know. I'm already stressed out enough. Oh, yeah? I've got the answer to your problem. You're going to get off your butt and into a seat inside. You got that? You think so? Mm-hmm. To the... Uh, <clears throat> right. But why don't we all listen now to the filmmaker himself about his latest work, Odd, You Have the Flaw. the screening as soon as the director's father returns. Hello? Is this some sort of joke? Who was it, darling? Why don't you keep quiet and stop batting your eyes at that old goat? What? Let's not fly off the handle here. You're the fly that needs handling. I'm on to your game. But have you lost your mind, darling? I prefer losing my mind to having yours. Mm -hmm. Here, it's for you. Yes, hello, what is it now? What? Oh. Since when do you keep your uh, cell phones on in a movie theater, huh? Huh? Hey, take the wax out of your ears and listen. <laughs> Mommy, is that you? If it's okay with everyone, we can begin. What does that little brat want? Maybe he wants us to shut his trap for him. Wouldn't do him any harm. Hmm? Something is going on, and I don't like the looks of it. It's just what I was afraid of. An activated tower. It looks like Santa is using cell phones. If you get a call, whatever you do, don't answer. Mm hmm. Look at that cow, it's slinking away like a little rat. Are we going to let that ungrateful snot nose take off like that? No! Hey, it's not very polite to sneak off like a thief in the night, you know. Hmm. He needs to learn a little respect whether he likes it or not. There's no need to get all worked up. I'll give each of you an autograph. He deserves to be taught a lesson, doesn't he? I vote for voting against him. Oh, man. Don't just stand there like a bunch of houseplants. Go on, hurry. After him. <laughs> well, are we looking for a little spanking? There he is. Mm -hmm. Sam is not going to get away. Keep up the pace. We're going to get him this time. What's wrong with everyone? Is it something they ate? Yeah. 
God, my boy, how would you like a loving spoonful? Thanks, Rosa, but I'm not very hungry. <laughs> what's he doing? Where is he? I thought he was behind us. He must have been held up by his fan club. I'll check out what's happening by scanning the location of their cell phones. Okay, I found him. Where is he? Take a guess. Think of it, I am hungry. Hmm. It looks pretty bad for him. He's totally surrounded. We've got to rescue him. But how? The whole school is out to get him. It'd be faster if we deactivated the tower. That's what we've got to do. Go on, head for the scanner room. You're going in right now. Let's hope that Odd can play for time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The gravy. There isn't enough gravy. Scanner, Ailita. Scanner, Yumi. Scanner, Ulrich. Virtualization. <laughs> the tower in front of you, at the end of the path. <laughs> Any suggestions, Einstein? Like a ladder, maybe? Without vehicles, forget about it. You could have virtualized us at the summit. Sorry, but there's a bug. I couldn't do any better. Ugh. And now I can't even bring up your vehicles. Xana threw a virus into the program. All I can get you is the overwing. Send it anyway, it'll have to do. Coming up. Wanna keep me company? <laughs> okay, let's go. in here somewhere. <laughs> Don't worry, watch. I'm gonna sweep him away. Yeah, he'll be biting the dust when we get through with him. <coughs> hey, Nicholas. Thought you could hide from us? Huh? Lunch time! <laughs> you can't touch me. I'm invulnerable thanks to my shield. Go on, keep on trying. Mm-mm-mm. <laughs> It's really awful wasting perfectly good food on a vegetable like him. Aha. Uh -huh. Alone at last. <laughs> Incredible, huh? What is happening? It looks like everyone at school has gone crazy. It's because of the cell phones. How come you haven't gone bananas too? Because my phone's a broken down piece of junk. The one place we haven't checked from top to bottom is the lunchroom. Let's split. Ah, there he is. <laughs> What is my daughter doing with that little scoundrel? He must have forced her to be on his side! Children become monsters when they're not instilled with a sense of discipline. <laughs> Jeremy, what are you waiting for? Reprogram the overwing! It's not working. I'll try the overboard. I've got a problem. You're not the only one! Hurry up! Ah. <laughs>
guess we might have a little peace. Peace, huh? The turtle peace is what you'll get. Are you okay? Yeah, thanks, Alita. Oh, just great. Jeremy, what's happening with Odd's board? It's loading, but it'll take a little time. We could try to climb up. The rock face is much too smooth. We'd never make it. Still scared of heights, huh? huh? gardeners nowadays. I do not think it is a very good idea to frighten these boy children with your gardening tools, sir. Well, that's a pity. Rest assured, we're not the type of parents who would ever shirk their responsibilities. We promised you a fitting punishment, and you're going to get it! I promise never to complain about not having conflicts with my parents again. <sighs> Looks like shellfish are back in season. Yeah, welcoming us with open claws. Okay, I'm on it. <sighs> Organic mayo. And I would like a purple parachute to go with my top. Hmm. Okay, okay, time out. Last requests are gonna have to wait until later. I 
think these children could use a little parental guidance? Absolutely. to the edge, don't you? Oh, yeah? I wonder who could have pushed me to the edge. Huh? Uh, return to the past now! And here we have a splendid specimen of a dung beetle. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have a magnificent field grasshopper. <laughs> no, he's saving the worst for less. But what could this strange creature be? A spring hole? No, no, it's an enormous larva. <laughs> a caterpillar metamorphosizing into a lovely butterfly. Huh? 